All right, guys, so we are back with more PS5 uh, updates, news, uh, restocking information. Breaking news, rumors, all that stuff. And we want to start off the video a little different, man. We're going to introduce ourselves. My name is Chino. This is Manny. Um, again, some of you guys have been with us for a good while. For some of the new subscribers, this is our introduction to you guys. And we're going to ask you guys, man, uh, yesterday we got flooded with a lot of comments. Um, we are going to put links up. Follow us on Instagram, on Twitter. I'll leave my email under. If you have any other questions, man, you might want to hit us up to those other platforms simply because yesterday we uh, got clogged up with a whole bunch of comments and yeah. it was very, very hard for, to keep up with YouTube, man. We tried our best, but um, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, it was pretty tough. So right off the bat, guys, you know, for anybody that, that was able to secure the bag last night or really this morning, congrats to you guys. Um, we want to start off with something somewhat bittersweet uh last night most was waiting for best buy but in between all that we ended up getting a curveball from Coles. so Coles was w went out there and threw out a ps5 bundle and oh, it was we, bananas man. we got a w he got a w i think everybody ended up getting a damn w uh, which was pretty damn cool until this morning i ended up getting the uh cancellation email so a lot of that's going around guys keep in mind i did mine through the the website uh, Chino ended up doing the same thing, but he actually had a different experience. He went through the application or the app. Yeah, so basically yesterday when Coles went live around midnight, a little bit after midnight, yeah. I couldn't get into the actual website and find the PS5. So I went through a different link and they said, go on the app. It's going to pop up on the app. So I actually did my, my uh, checkout through the actual app. Yeah. Um, Manny was in the actual website. And a lot of people were going through the website and it looks like a lot of people already got their cancellation. At this moment, I have not received any cancellation. So hopefully that W sticks. Um, it was pretty crazy, man, because uh, we saw a lot of people celebrating yesterday on Twitter and maybe like 30 minutes later, man, you started seeing a lot of uh, uh, people already talking about like, man, there was probably a glitch in the system and there will be cancellations. Yeah. And sure enough, Early this morning, there was a ton of cancellations. Yeah, and then again, so going from Coles, which is something to keep in mind now, if you are, you know, they might re reload in the future, who knows? From there, the main the main website we're looking at or the main player we're looking at was Best Buy. And sure enough, you know, 12 o'clock came, one o'clock came, two o'clock in the morning came and nothing happened with Best Buy. But thankfully he has two newborns and he woke up extra early because they were, you know, they're, they're babies, they're hungry, they're, you know, they're just, they need something done to them. And around five o'clock in the morning is when Best Buy decided to go live with their launch. And he was able to secure his PS5, which worked out perfectly. So just some tips with that, guys. Make sure you have your sign-ons for that for, for Best Buy. Make sure you know your passwords, uh, have your credit card or, or PayPal saved. Um, with that also, the way it works, it it once it goes live, it lets you, it lets you submit uh, to add a cart and what they do is they do like almost like different rounds. So if you miss out on the first round, if you can't, for some reason you can't load into the cart, it goes like on a, like a maybe like a five or 10 minute break and then they add more to the system. So the one cool feature that they do have is once you actually get into your cart and you're gonna process the payment, it will make you verify a pin or, or, or like a, a, a number sequence. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, they send something to your email, you make sure you get that information, you type it in and you can claim your PS5 and that's how he was able to pick his up. Yeah, so it, so there's a few steps. So basically, um, just to take it back a little bit, uh, what happened was, and I want you guys to keep in mind, I don't know if this is something that triggered it or whatnot. I was up and, and I was about to go to sleep. We were just finished feeding the baby girls and I got the ad for Black Friday. As soon yeah. as the ad came in my email, I said, what the heck, you know, let me go check Best Buy because they didn't drop anything. As soon as I went into the website, it, it, it showed out of stock. I refreshed it and boom, the thing was on. It was about 4, 4.30, 4.25 a.m. Uh, a.m. in the morning when, when it happened. As soon as that happened, as I was checking out, there was that, that, that verification of the PIN. Mm -hmm. I had to re-log in again and verify all the address information. And then it allowed me to check out. And then I received the email uh, with the confirmation for the uh, store pickup. So it's going to be an actual store pickup uh, on our end. So I was very fortunate to do that. I called Manny right away. We have uh, other friends. I was asleep though. Yeah, we have other friends that were on what, uh, WhatsApp. 
and we hit them up and i think another one was able to secure it and the other guys were just uh they were just asleep they just fell, fell asleep on it man but it was a random time but to go back to that man um there is a rumor it's not confirmed uh they're throwing it out there i've seen a lot of people post it they're saying that best buy is not done tonight that they may be doing another one so just keep a good look at our best buy yeah um you know uh, that's how these things start man and and rumors you know, and then it and develops it, something real yeah and and it and it just it, it just begins to to develop so uh i would stay with with best buy tonight they're also saying that um like i was telling manny that that if you're around the area check your local best buys there are still doing again i don't know who's returning their ps5s but they're still doing open boxes yeah i've seen them on the website so uh you just gotta act fast man so i mean that, that may be another way to acquire it i don't know how you feel about open box at this point uh it, i was getting desperate I, I would take an open box don't even give me a box just give me the console and <laughs> and that's it man yeah so that's best buy again rumor has it they're going live sometime today no confirmation on time. Now, the next spot we're gonna talk about, and I actually went to this store today, is gonna to be Target. Uh, Target is supposed to have some some uh, stock going live today. That's the rumor again, rumor, keep in mind, guys. Um, and I can confirm, uh, they did have some Xbox Series X uh, today in store, but people were camping out for the Black Friday uh, sale. And for the most part, you had to be there super early, but I did speak to some people in Target and just making small chit chat and asking about the if you know they had any Xbox Series X or PS5, and they said, yeah, we had we had three today in our store, and they sold in the morning. People were actually camped out. So there is another rumor coming around, or there's a, there's a belief that you know maybe daily they're going to be having uh, whether it be an Xbox Series X or PS5 in store. They're not going to announce it. They're not going to advertise it because they don't want it to get flooded with people camping out. But it might of, be something you look Because of COVID, into. man. Because of COVID, they're not. They're not going. They're going to keep it on the hush. But there are. There is people that have confirmed. If you go on Twitter, there's people that confirmed. They walked into Target. They've been uh, a little hush about it. Um, but now they're coming uh, uh, with with evidence that that they've been going to Target every every day and and they've been uh, getting lucky with either an Xbox or a PS5. Again, it's limited supply. You're not going to walk in there and find ten consoles. 10, you might 20, find one 30. or two, um, but. But if you're really, really, really uh, chasing that, um, you might want to try that again. I mean, it's just going to take up a little bit of your time. And we're going to burn. I think it's what? Are they open at 8, 7 or 8? I think they open at 9. Uh, there are hours. You just got to check your local target. Everybody's is different with the pandemic and curfews and so on. So, again, just some food for thought. I'm not saying to go out there and do it. But if you want to take the risk and, and, and gamble, that's an option. Yeah. Uh, the last part we're going to talk about is going to be GameStop. Again, I was out and about. I, I actually went to like two or three different game stops today, and I spoke to some people. And again, you make some, some, you know, you open some dialogue, and sometimes a little bit more at liberty to say, you know, a, a thing or two. And they did confirm they will be opening at seven o'clock in the morning on Friday for Black Friday. And the way it's gonna work, guys, is first, first come, first serve for the PS5s and the Xbox Series X. They are gonna have minimum of two per console. Um, but I did ask about the digital and. It's looking like this one here is going to be super hard to find. They told me not to, not to expect. Not to digital. bank on it, basically. So, uh, as far as GameStop, I know some people were asking out in California because there, there are some states and cities With that curfews. are curfew. I think you guys might have an advantage because that will eliminate people camping out. So I think curfew is lifted in a lot of areas at five in the morning. So you just got to wake up early. Hopefully, you live very, very close to a, a. a um, GameStop yep. and you know break the I'm not, I'm not gonna say break the curfew but uh, make sure you get there early enough man that you can be the the one of the let's just say four spots man uh, at, the, at this point we're saying four spots um, yeah it, you know I'm not gonna tell say if, if there's five six people there just you know leave maybe, maybe there's more more they're not talking about but right now a lot of a lot of people are confirming IGN confirmed it that minimum uh, they're gonna have is two of each that's it yeah so again just some more information guys and like we said follow our, our Instagram follow our Twitter uh, that's that, that's really a good way to reach out to us and okay guys and now the last part we want to talk about the one we're gonna spotlight is Walmart again it's confirmed they're doing one on Wednesdays gonna be at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern so again you know do your time difference for wherever you live um, so Walmart is gonna do it you guys know how it is with Walmart It's gonna be jam-packed with we're trying to get that that PS5 um, I don't, I'm not sure if they're doing Xbox Series X, but I would imagine they're probably doing both. 
Uh, but again, you're gonna see that you're gonna see that deer. You're gonna see that deer. The website's gonna probably crash. If you get to add one in the cart, again, make sure all your information is already saved. Make sure you're already logged in at least an hour, maybe 30 minutes before it goes live, and be ready to fight for it. You're gonna have to fight for it. Yeah, and, and for people saying that that there's no W's in in Walmart, we actually do have a snapshot of our buddy that that was able. Crazy story where he was just clicking afterwards and he was able to. Uh, get through and, and pick up a, a, a PS5. So After it sold out. Yeah, after it sold out. So um, I do want to reiterate that, man. Make sure that, like Manny said, have all your information. And every website, man, make sure you create all your logins, type in your 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 uh, credit card information, PayPal, whatever whatever method you're using. Make sure it's all done. Make sure your email is, is, is operational where you're getting notifications because the stuff is quick, man. Uh, the information comes so quick, man, that literally, man, you're, you're having to retype uh, information, PIN numbers, address, uh, logins. Uh, yeah. So if you have password stuff, uh, password keys saved, make sure you utilize that. Um, the faster you can get through this, the better chances you're going to have. Hopefully, Walmart can learn from Best Buy. I think thus far, Best Buy literally stepped it up. Yeah. I was very happy with how they were able to kind of control the way they did things. And one last thing on Best Buy, man, that I noticed, and I was telling Manny, I was trying to acquire, we were trying to acquire another one for friends um, because obviously we have a lot of friends that are looking to get this for, for their kids for Christmas or whatnot. Yeah. Um, so I did find another one in Houston, which was uh, maybe 29 miles from my location. Um, but when I was doing the checkout, which we didn't talk about, yeah. um, it basically said that I was at my limit. So if you are thinking of, of buying, you know, multiples of you have, you know, you know, uh, 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 cousins or brothers that you're going to gift this to and you want to have your personal one and gift the other one to family members, you're going to have to create another login information with with a, uh, maybe a different address, different email and different payment method. If yep. you're trying to pick up multiples because it literally had had flagged me as you already purchased one you're that's it you're done yeah i never got that far so again that was pretty cool information to kind of come across and with that guys yeah man I, you know this is the mission try to get one of these so hopefully you know we're putting you in the right path and keep an eye out because more videos will be coming out and good luck that's it we're out